So I've had this 10 inch cabinet saw from Harvey for about a week now and I absolutely love it. It has been a killer upgrade in my shop. But today I want to show you how I'm going to upgrade the high low fence by adding the stock guides from Jessam. So what we need for this project is very simple. We need one piece of hard wood that is three quarters inch thick. The track that comes with the Jessums, obviously both Jessums and two mag switches that will go on each end of the hardwood to secure it onto your fence, obviously with the track right in the middle. Now I wanted this to look symmetrical, so I took some measurements. The track is 30 inches and I pre-cut this piece of red oak down to 36 inches and my college degree says that that is three inches on both sides. So I set my little double square to three inches to center that thing up. And then I used my other smaller double square just to make sure that it was centered in the board so that it was nice and symmetrical. Next, I took one of those self-centering drill bits and drilled out all of my pilot holes for all the screws that are gonna hold that track down. And I won't show you all of it. I mean, you get the idea, right? And then next up was centering the mag switch in the board. It doesn't really matter where they go on the board. You just kind of eyeball it as long as you have two of them, one on each end. I just marked out kind of roughly the, the width of where that mag switch was gonna land. And then I could use my really cool trick of finding the center of the board without measuring. And it's really easy. You take your rule and then you just angle it to the nearest hole number. And then you easily divide that in half. I did one to three and that's obviously one and a half. And that is my center of the board. No math needed. Next, I took a huge overdrive bit. This one is the inch and a quarter and just went crazy on this board. And it really didn't have any problem cutting this. And look, that is a clean cut. So after I had both holes drilled, I decided to do something that's kind of optional. And I just wanted to knock off the edges and just soften them just a little bit. So I took my chamfer edge plane and, and took a little bit of material off just so it was a little bit nicer to touch. Plus, who doesn't like a nice chamfer? So after the chamfer was done, it was time to do a little bit of hand sanding, not much. I just took 120 and knocked everything down, made it nice and smooth, and cleaned up any rough edges or anything that I just needed to knock down. And if you've been following me at any point at all over on Instagram, you probably realize that I love to dye everything black, and this is no different. It does match my fence better black, so I thought it was necessary. I mean, this isn't necessary for you if you want to leave it wood, but hey, I like the black, and I think red oak looks best when it's actually black oak. So after it's dried, I then was able to come back, and it's time to assemble everything, get the track on, and I'm going to put three-quarter inch wood screws right into the track. They are already countersunk into the track, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. So I'm just gonna put all eight screws in here. I won't show you all of that, but then it was time to sink a couple of those screws into the mag switches to hold them down on the board. And that will secure them and keep them holding everything down onto your fence when you activate those magnets. So after you get one side of the magnets on, it's best to slide in your hold down assemblies or stock guides, whatever you want to call them, and then add your second mag switch into the back side and then add a couple screws to secure that thing. Now was time to test everything out. It goes on the fence perfectly. Turn the mag switches to activate them. See how well they hold. Slide the fence around, make sure it doesn't wiggle or anything. Check it again, everything's holding perfectly. 
And now because I raised up the stock guides three quarters of an inch on that oak board, I need to adjust the length of these arms and stretch them out so that they can actually achieve that right angle of 30 degrees, which Jessam suggests. So you just take out two of those bolts, extend the arm, you screw them back in, tighten them up, and then check your angle, and Bob's your uncle. Now setting the height for your stock is super easy. You slide your stock under and then lock down the height so that the arm is just touching your stock. So then when you run your stock through, the wheel bumps up and throws it right into the fence and keeps it there. And that's it for the installation. To take it off, you just disengage the magnets and it lifts right off the high-low fence. And that is it. A piece of wood, a couple magnets, and the stock guides. That's all you need for this. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a really simple build. Hope it helps you guys out, and I will see you on the next one.